strange. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to refresh. I'll be right back in one okay. second. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Ah, okay. It looks better now. Okay. okay. Um, I'm just gonna turn it up because I'm deaf. <laughs> there we go. Hi everyone. Hello. 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 Um, hi, Luis. Nice to meet you. Our glasses are very similar. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have I met you before, Luis. No, you didn't, teacher. But I, I've watched it, uh, sometimes your classes in the cool. past. Uh, just listen and keep working. So she's one of the best. I know you, but you don't know me <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> so Liliana is one of the best students. So I guess we're even. <laughs> oh, she's awesome. <laughs> no, I'm, um, <laughs> I'm gonna guess, Luis. Are you from Brazil? Yeah. How yes. do you know that? I don't know. <laughs> I just your accent. Yeah, I'm from Brazil. Because of my accent. And it's psychic. I'm psychic. No, um, no, your accent a little bit, but I know two other people named Luis from Brazil. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's probably... Portuguese or Brazilian? Just it. Yeah, it's a lot of Luis. In in Portugal as well. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, hi, Quang. Quang, I missed you. Did you? What happened? Did you get the link? Yes, I, I called you, but I, I didn't connect you. I don't know. Mm. I called you, I call you uh, with the, the link you sent me a long time ago, but I didn't connect to you. Mm. I might have just missed you. I left at... I waited for you uh, a long time, but I didn't connect to you. Oh. The link you sent me... Mm, okay, I'll talk to you after class. Maybe, do you want to stay okay. after class again, Quang, for 15 minutes and we can just do it after class? Yeah, just to do. Let's do that. I don't know what happened. <laughs> That's okay. Doesn't matter. Um, Firkin, first comment for no reason. Right on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, what's up, guys? Um, it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So... To warm up, I want you guys to tell me if you could live in any time period, any era, what time period do you think you would live in? So what year should you have been born? <laughs> like, I would like to would like to have lived in the, I don't know, the 30s maybe. No, like medieval times. That would be much cooler. <laughs> Whoa. Are you going yeah. to be a witch or knight? What? What are you going to be in medieval age? You know, that's those I years be, are dangerous. I would be... <laughs> no, I'd be a knight or something. I guess I'd have to change gender, too, wouldn't I? Um, <laughs> otherwise, I'd have to be like a oh, princess. No, have, you ever, have you ever heard about uh, Joan of Arc? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd be like her. <laughs> there Amazing. you go. Uh huh. Um, what about you guys? Uh, Liliana, what year should you have been born in? Uh, I I would like to have been born in maybe in the fifties. Fifties, yes. Mm -hmm. I think fifties or sixties. Sixties is the um, I think it was uh, a year of a uh, revolution in music because uh, Beatles. Hey. Um, Beatles, uh, I think uh, they have the they had the, their best uh, year in sixties and hippies and uh, <laughs> and uh, all of these uh, changes in in music. I'd uh -huh. like to to live in this year. I like sixties and uh, classical rock and uh, Elvis Presley. And yeah, me too. Mm. I mean, about the horns. And I was just commenting on Luis's like, yeah, oh. Beatles. <laughs> yeah, because they, they are the basis, the, the roots of rock and roll. So it's true. I yes. guess we, we lose a lot with them. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. So, Luis, are you a music guy? Yeah, I used to play music, but I'm not a mu musician. Just for fun and relaxing, I, pick, I keep playing a lot of classes and re uh, rehearsals, but uh, I just love to play just for relax, not, uh, not professional. So, what do you play? Guitar? Guitars, yeah. Uh -huh. You look like you're in a band. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was. It's the hair. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's complicated because staying in a band and, uh, you know, uh, it's like to get married or engaged with another five guys, so mm -hmm. I, I don't like it. It's so. a very <laughs> tight relationship, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One girl is enough for me. <laughs> Forget about the five guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about you then, Luis? Are you like Liliana? Would you want to live in that sort of time where, you know, rock was kind of being born, or would you like to live? What time period? Yeah, I think it would be great to uh, be a knight too at med uh, medieval yeah. ages, but I, I don't think at Europe, maybe Japan, is, would be very grateful. To be a samurai. Yeah, I like samurai ninjas. Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, tell her about it. What do you mean, Firkin? Are you oh, are you referring to my musical choices? <laughs> no, I mean your brothers in band, your cousins in band. Yeah, I have a lot of band culture around me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, for sure. So, Firkin. I... Sorry, Liliana. No, I remember that you told uh, us that uh, your cousins have a band, a uh, rock, rock band, yes? Band. Yeah, they just opened for Iron Maiden last week. Oh, great. Yeah. What's the name of the band? Come on. Z Zico Shut Chain. Good. Zico Chain, it's my cousin's band in England. Uh, my, my cousin's the drummer. And they're really excited. They just opened for Maiden at the O2. It's pretty exciting. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay. I think I was telling you guys about it last yeah. week, Liliana. Yeah. Oh, yes, you told us. Um, but he, I, I skyped with him, and he was showing me all the pictures and telling me about how amazing it was. So, uh, um, so jealous. I was like, oh, I can't believe I couldn't go to the show, but it's in England, so <laughs> um, I'm in Canada. It's a little far. Take can't a rest and, and go there. <laughs> Pardon? Just take a rest. Just take a rest and go there. Yeah. See the just fly over. <laughs> um, Furkan, what what uh, age would you have liked to be born in? If I were a king's son, probably it wouldn't matter <laughs> because I will be rich. And if I don't know what's going to happen in the future, then everything is okay. But specifically, I like these years. What years? No, like Twenty, yeah, no, oh, Twenty. Come on. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, but I want to see that, that huge stage in Rhodes. Do you know that? The what, sorry? It was a huge statue in Rhodes. I'm going to that. Place. Yeah. It was destroyed mm -hmm. in an earthquake years mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. Or Babel's, Babel's, I don't Babylon. Yeah, Babylon. Ah, uh, Babylon. Gardens. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, Quang, what about you? What age would you have liked to be born in? Mr. Quang? Are you okay, there? Ah. Uh, I'm here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What age? What age? Was I was I born? Yeah, what um, year or time period do you okay, think would have been yeah, cool? 19, to be born? 1979. I was born in 1979. 79? That's yeah. when you were born? Yeah. So when, I, you, is there another time period like the 20s or, like I said, the medieval times, Liliana is all about the 50s, 60s. Is there a time that you would have liked to be born, or no? 
I can't imagine you guys in the 80s. Like, this big yeah. hair. Yeah. I, I wish I was at the right age for, like, Woodstock. That would have been awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, radio yeah. on your shoulder and, like... Uh, like a beatbox? Yeah. A boombox? Right, cool. like, <laughs> we had... There were still boomboxes when I was a teenager, I think. Yeah. It was like, funny. Then. And that brought, like, a and yeah, <laughs> huge radio with cassette tapes, and they were dancing on the street, and you're like, whoa. And I just Isn't walk that... up and start break dancing in the middle of the street. <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. Um, I'd probably like break a hip or something. Um, okay, cool. So today we're going to talk about Vikings shortly. But first, we're looking at. Um... <laughs> this is the horn. Come on. Yeah, right. That 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 merits the horns for sure. Um, first, we're looking at intonation. Um, what we emphasize when we have an adverb in a sentence, and then we're looking at, for grammar, um, adverbs, right. Mm -hmm. So first, um, I'm just going to read a few sentences for you, and I want you to tell me what I'm emphasizing. I'm just going to copy and paste them. Mm -mm -mm. First one, I drive my car to school. I drive my car to school. What words am I emphasizing in this sentence? I drive my car to school. Drive? Cool. Drive? Anything else? Why drive is important. I think school. School? There's more than one word being emphasized. That, but my no. car to school. Car? Mm -hmm. So all of the... you remember, I don't know if you remember when I explained content and function words. Right. Yeah. So all of the... The main words are being emphasized. I drive my car to school. So I would say drive is being emphasized a lot. Three months ago. Was it that long ago? Maybe four. There was okay. still in the car. <laughs> okay, here's, here's the next one. I rapidly drive my car to school. I rapidly drive my car to school. Uh, rapidly. 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 Mm -hmm. Right? So as soon as there's an adverb in your sentence, it's emphasized always. Um, she sarcastically told him to be quiet. Yeah, I didn't even have to say. You know. She sarcastically told him to be quiet. Sarcastic. How could you say that in a sarcastic manner? If she, I, I don't know. Be yeah, quiet. But... <laughs> Maybe she didn't really want him to be quiet, so she's like, oh, be quiet. <laughs> um, okay, so when there's an adverb, it's almost always the highest point in the sentence, right? So you're emphasizing on the adverb. Um, Liliana, can you give me a sentence with the word slowly? Okay. Um, I, um, I, I, I walk slowly because I, I feel a little bit tired. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to type it. Or most of it, because I'm too lazy for the... <laughs> Can you read it again for me and think about your intonation? Okay. I walk slowly because I feel tired. Good. I walk slowly because I feel tired. Good. Um, yeah, I am. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, Luis, okay. Can you make a sentence with quickly? Uh... You quickly type <laughs> that sentence at the chat. Good. Um, you typed... Nobody has ever seen such a typer. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> um, you quickly typed that sentence. Can you read it again using the intonation? Okay. You quickly type uh, that sentence. Good. You quickly type that sentence. So you emphasize quickly. Good. Um, Firkin, why don't you choose your own adverb and make a sentence for me? Okay. Uh, choose a crazy one. <laughs> crazy adverb. Like voraciously or... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I rigorously ate a mango and banana in the jungle with bank monkeys. Right on. Okay, I'm going to write. 
I have too many characters. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about the monkeys. <laughs> I I don't know how one rigorously eats a banana, but <laughs> <laughs> um okay, can you read it for me again? I rigorously ate a banana and mango in the jungle like with monkeys. Okay, cool. Um hi Osama. Hi. Can you make a sentence for me using um hmm Mm-mm-mm. Hastily. Okay. Uh, uh, my friend hastily uh, pushed me to the pool. Hey, the sorry. Pool. Your friend hastily pushed you? Yeah. Pushed you into where? The uh, into the pool. In the pool? <laughs> well, your friend sounds like a jerk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, can you read it again? Okay, uh, my friend has hastily push you, push, push uh, me into the pool. Good. My friend hastily pushed me into the pool. Good. What happened to your phone? Is it? Is it okay? Um. No. This one time, my brother. Fireman carried me and threw me into the pool with my shoes on, my purse. <laughs> like I was so mad. Um, so what happened to your wallet? Like cars. Everything was and... soaked. Soaked. I was oh, think upset. About, think about <laughs> teacher, but think about it. Maybe if you were at mid medieval ages, maybe you can throw a sword in his neck. Yeah, totally. Oh, wow, I push me, motherfucker. <laughs> I could have had a, a lance, you know, like the... Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, okay, Quang, one more. Um, Quang, can you make a sentence using quick... No, we used quickly. Um. Okay, teacher. I learn English quickly. Okay, good. I learned... I, I learned English quickly when I was uh, a young boy. I learned English quickly when I was a young boy. So even when your adverb is coming afterwards, after the word, you're still, you still emphasize it. So I learned English quickly when I was a young boy. That's kind of the highest. There's other words that you emphasize, but that's the highest point in your sentence. Um, okay, any questions yeah. about the intonation? No, I have a question about the word. Um, sure. It's about hastily. Hastily. Okay. Yeah, it's a long A. Hey, hey. And it means, yeah, rushedly, um, with haste. Do you know haste? Mm, so no. it means very quickly, you're in a hurry. Okay. So if someone hastily pushes me in the pool, that means they just kind of charge at you and throw you in the pool really quickly. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, I don't think I have an adverbs document, so I'm just making one really hastily. <laughs> so you have um, the document. And I feel for some reason like I was supposed to focus on something today, Liliana. Mm -hmm. Was there something about adverbs that you wanted me to talk about? Yes. What was it? I remember... I'd <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, no, how to use after or before uh, the word or... The oh, word. the order. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, we will... Let me find it. Um, okay, I've got a link. I'm just going to add the bottom. So we'll go through our document and then at the placement of them. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen, and we'll go through this quickly, and then we will talk about Vikings. So you don't leave adverbs other than quickly. Quickly, we will yeah. talk about it rapidly. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm not very creative with my adverbs. <laughs> um, how about Liliana? Could you read the first part for us? Okay. First, adverbs can be used in a few different Ways. The mm -hmm. first and main function of an adverb is to tell you more about a verb. It modifies the verb. 
and the man ran quickly to the door, quickly modifies run. Oh, okay. She yelled, how can I read it? Yelled? Yelled. Yelled and uh, loudly, mm -hmm. loudly modifies yelled. Can you read modifies again? Modifies? Yeah, it's just your eye. Be careful that it's an eh. Uh, modifies, modifies. Modifies. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Good. And uh -huh. the second most used function is to modify, modify, mm -hmm. an object or another adverb. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. Really modifies the object cute. It works incredibly slowly. Incredibly modifies the adverb slowly. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, uh, Luis, would you like to read third and fourth? Third and fourth. Uh, yep. Okay. The, the third function is to modify a whole sentence. Uh, luckily, he knew her already. Obvi obviously, he loved her dearly. Uh, the fourth, the fourth function is to modify a preposition, no, prepositional, prepositional phrase. Yes. It's immediately uh, to, le to the left. She likes it, but had never been there before. This one's immediately. Immediately. Okay. Immediately. Can you repeat, please. Imme immediately. Immediately. Okay. You're emphasizing this syllable. Immediately. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I keep going? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay. Second, <clears throat> there are few ways to form adverbs from adjectives by adding L, uh, L E. I don't know. L Y. Why? Okay. Mm -hmm. The most common is to adjust uh, the L I to an ad adjective quickly. No, sorry. Quick, quickly, soft, softly. Mm -hmm. If the adjective ends in able or in able, change to the e to i. Regrettable, reg, regret, oh sorry, it's very, it's okay. <laughs> very uncomfortable to me. Sorry guys, regret, regrettably, yep. terrible, terribly. Yep. Uh, if the adjective ends in i, change to the i or any. Uh, regrettable, regrettable. I, I don't know, regrettable. Yeah, it's, let me read it for you. Regrettable, regrettably, terrible, terribly. Okay. Okay. Regrettable, regrettably, yep. terrible, terribly. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, if the adjective ends in IC, change, to, change the IC to likely, ironic, ironically. Economic, economically. Good. I'm just going to make a note. You pronounce those perfectly. Everyone going to make the note. If it's A-L-L-Y, it's pronounced. Okay. So yours was good, Luis. Just so everyone knows, when you have a word that ends in A-L-L-Y, you wouldn't say ironically. Ironically, you would say ironically. So it looks okay. like Ali, but it's just Lee. And yours was fine, Louise, so um, no worries. But just so everyone is aware of that. Um, just going to pause for a minute. So this is showing us how to actually form the adjectives. So that's something you can look over. Um, the most important thing is when we actually use them, right? So modifying an adjective or another adverb, modifying the meaning of an entire sentence, like this, or modifying a prepositional phrase, talking about the placement of something or the time, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've gone through how to form them. Some are irregular, of course, <laughs> because it's English, and we like things that are irregular. Um, things like slow, well, very, always. These, these are all adverbs um, that are in a different form, not the L-Y um, or the I-L-Y. Don't change the adjective good to goodly. Bad is also not bad, or bad is badly, but good is not goodly, right? The adjective, adverb is well. Just a kind of a note. Um, now this is where it starts to get tricky, where we're talking about the placement. Um, so it can either go at the beginning, 
in the middle, or at the end. So basically, they go everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's tricky to know when to actually place them and where to place them. A lot of the time, you can choose. Um, a lot of the time, they can either be at the beginning or the end. Um, there are rules for placing them, but there's not the not the greatest an example. Mm. There's one. Um, let me find another one. That's Adverb placement. Ah, no, no, no. This one. Um, adverb position. Here's this one. Mm -hmm. um, Firkin said, whoa, did I do something? I don't know what happened there. He's <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> um, okay, so position. When your adverb is modifying... Is that big enough? That's yes, big enough. yes, it's good. <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh, no, what am I doing? Um, when an adverb modifies a verb, there are usually three spots, right? Front, middle, or, or the end. Um, now I'll read a book. I'll read a book now are both fine, but in the middle, I'll now read a book. That doesn't really sound natural. You could say, I often read books, or I read books very often, but you wouldn't really say, often I read books. So a lot of the time, this is where it gets tricky. Um, there's no real rule. It's just kind of a natural thing, whether or not it sounds natural to us. Um, but there are some kind of general rules that you can follow as long as you keep in mind that there are a lot of exceptions. Okay, um, so for example, when an adverb is modifying an adjective or another adverb, it usually goes right in front of the word. Mm -hmm. So when it's modifying a verb, it tends to be in any of these three positions, and it just kind of depends on the, the adverb. Um, you can usually get away with putting it in the middle or at the end, and you just have to be more careful about having it at the beginning. But when it's modifying an adjective or an adverb, it tends to go right before. She gave him a really dirty look. Right? We quite often study English. Um, so you just have to stick it right beside the word it's modifying, generally. Um, but it depends on the type of adverb that you're using. So we've got adverbs of manner, place, time, and degree. And we've got this maybe complicated chart, I don't know, <laughs> but um, a chart to kind of show us um, how we determine where to place the verb. So adverbs of manner usually modify verbs and they usually go at the end. Okay. Um, same with adverbs of place and time. So adverbs of place, again, they usually are modifying verbs. He was working here and they usually go at the end. Okay. Um, if we're talking about um, how definite or indefinite time is, it's going at the end. He finished the job yesterday. If we're talking about how frequent, how often something is, then it's going in the middle. We often go to Paris. We sometimes go to Paris. Um, we usually eat breakfast at 8 a.m. Okay? So if it's talking about frequency, then it's going in the middle. And then we have degree. Um, so it... The degree is a little little bit more confusing, but basically they're tending to be in the middle in here. Mm -hmm. um, um, like so a verb of frequency in the same position before the verb, yes? Yeah, and, um, right. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yep, so frequ uh, frequency is going before the verb, but if you're talking about the whether or not something's definite or likely uh -huh. or then it's going at the end. Mm -hmm. So this is not like a concrete term, or not a concrete rule, but it's something to kind of go by a little bit. Um, it's just depending on the type of adverb that you're using. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that helps. Um, yes. A lot of it comes with practice, to be completely honest. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is happening to Firkin. Is, is that... <laughs> like? <laughs> He's, he's being padded. Do you, is that? I don't know. Ahmet. Is it Ahmet? Tell him no. to come say hello. Ahmet, come here. <laughs> 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 Listen to 
laughing. Hey, hello. Ahmed, show your face, little one. He's being shy. There he is. Hi, buddy. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> oh, no Turkish. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so again, you're, uh, that's a chart you can kind of look at. If you look at the first one I gave you, um, you've got more exams. Uh, okay. Am I muted? No. Um, no, no. no the, the first one has more examples of the most common ones that we're using. Um, so just something to kind of look over. Okay. <sighs> Sites. You're welcome. I have tons of sites if you want more. Cool. Any questions? Any other questions about? Oh, uh, no. Lots of questions, teacher, but the point is I should study. <laughs> Sorry? I think I, there is many questions about it, but before the questions, I, I got to study very much yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Write the documents to ask. Yeah. yeah. In this case, it's really something to I think really read over. Let me find you some. I just have to find you guys some more links. One second. Um. Um. You got muted. Sorry, I was typing. Um, I'll find some exercises for you to practice. Ah yes. Um. Here's another link about position and if you go down to the bottom there's some exercises there um, uh, let me see if I have a PDF for you like those other ones I gave you um, grammar worksheets adverbs mm. Mm, adverbs of manner I have Oh, it's not about position though, so no. Um, let's find maybe a couple more exercises. And then if you guys have questions, you have me on Facebook. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, teacher, I don't. <laughs> you will. <laughs> There's my Facebook. Um, you, oh. can always, you can always send me messages. So maybe work through some of this stuff um, and then bring me your questions. Um, oh. Here's another... Another one. Mm -hmm. And one more. Okay, here's another one. Okay. Um, I don't know, work through some of that, maybe read through it, and then um, send me your questions on Facebook if you have them. Okay. I'm always around. <laughs> um, all right, let's take a look at our article for today. Have you heard about the, um, the series on uh, Najee? What is it? It's a, a new series, I think, uh, because um, an Irish friend posted uh, post, um, uh, the video, a short video about Vikings. It's a new series on Najee. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Uh -huh, yes. Is it a TV show the, about Vikings? It's, it's a series, uh, a new series, series uh, on Najee. I think, I don't know if it, uh, it started. Is this it? It's Maybe. actually called. It's called Vikings. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. It says it premiered on March third. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. I'll have to wait for it to go on Netflix so I can watch them all. <laughs> um, okay. There's a link for the document. I'll just read a little bit while I'm reading. Um, take note of new words, new expressions, phrasal verbs, whatever and um, we can look at them after before we talk about it, okay? So, is that okay? Big enough? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The Vikings were a seafaring people from the late 8th to early 11th century 
who established a name for themselves as traders, explorers, and warriors. They discovered the Americas long before Columbus and could be found as far east as the distant reaches of Russia. While these people are often attributed as savages raiding the more civilized nations for treasure and women, the motives and culture of the Viking people are much more diverse. These raiders also facilitated many changes throughout the lands from economics to warfare. The Viking Age. Many historians, right here, commonly associate the term Viking to the Scandinavian term Vikinger, a word for pirate. However, the term is meant to reference overseas expeditions and was used as a verb by the Scandinavian people for when the men traditionally took time out of their summers to go a Viking. While many would believe these expeditions entailed the raiding of monasteries and cities along the coast, many expeditions were actually the goal of trade and enlisting as foreign mercenaries. The Viking Age references the earliest recorded raid in the 790s until the Norman conquest of England in 1066. During this time, the reach of the Scandinavian people extended to all corners of Northern Europe, and many other nations found Vikings raiding their coasts. The farthest, farthest reported records of Vikings were in Baghdad for the trading of goods like fur, tusks, and seal fat. Um, I think they're going to go on to talk a little bit more about raids. I just wanted to find a picture. There's, <laughs> there's a Viking ship. I'm sure you guys have seen, like, the Viking hats. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, let's maybe do one more paragraph just to look at the myths. Um, I'll just read through the myths, actually. So here's our Viking myths. Everyone understands what a myth is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Myth busters. Right, exactly. Um, so Vikings wore horned helmets. They're saying, no, that's not really true. <laughs> they traditionally went bareheaded or wore leather and metal frame helmets. Um, they were filthy and unkempt. <laughs> so, saying, so they weren't very well groomed. Unkempt means that they didn't take care of themselves very well, like yeah. dirty, you know, unshowered, kind of gross. Like um, right, yeah, and filthy. They spent all their time raiding and warring. So they're saying, no, that's not true. They did other things. Vikings were a unified army. Um, they're saying that's also not true. Because of the geography, they were actually very spread out. Um, and there was division among them as well. Um, they were very large and heavily muscled. <laughs> Whenever I think of Vikings, I think of like huge guys. Uh -huh. Like no shirts, big hats the, with the... Ginger the beard. Uh-huh. Yeah, a big beard, yeah. Um, uh, so they're saying, no, that's not necessarily true. <laughs> okay. Um, and that's it. I think there's just five. Yeah. So those are some myths about Vikings, which kind of shatter the image of Vikings in my mind. But <laughs> okay. Um, no, it's not true, teacher. Come on. Vikings thank you, thank with you. and hearts were big in muscles. With yeah, <laughs> good. I totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so what what do you guys see? Any new vocabulary that ca you came across? New words, expressions? Can you use war as a verb? Sorry, what's the word? War. Oh, to, like what they were saying, warring? Yeah. You can. Um, it's not very common. Mm -hmm. um, I would... I would actually say not to. I wouldn't use it as a verb, but it's not incorrect to do it. It's just really uncommon. Um, mm -hmm. you, rather than saying warring, you would normally say go to war, going to war. That's generally... Uh, uh, war, uh, warfare? Yeah, warfare is... Um, sorry, I was muted. Warfare is the noun, right? Yeah. So to go to war is to... Engage in warfare. It's another way to say. It. Okay. Mhm. Mm um. To war, like as a verb, it's as a verb. It's, it's uncommon, but it's. I wouldn't really use it personally. Um. What else? I explained unkempt. Did you see any other vocabulary? Anything new in here for me to explain? If there's not, I have a question about Viking history. 
when they were uh, completely destroyed or diminished? Mm, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they said it in here. I think I skimmed right by it. Because um. I knew David came to Turkey and not to Istanbul, like in ninth century. Late eighth to the mid eleventh centuries. I think mid eleven. Mid eleventh. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm pretty sure it went even longer than that. They're saying a romanticized picture began to take place. Right, so yeah, mid-11th centuries, and then once we were getting into the late 17th, early 18th century, people started to kind of talk about Vikings and come up with this image of them. Um, and stereotypes of them started to kind of perpetrate through into the 19th century. Liliana? Uh, no, uh, uh, the Irish friend, uh, Irish friend that I have, he uh -huh. told me that uh, the Vikings uh, were the first um, invaders in, uh, in Ireland uh, because uh, they had a, a native uh, people living there. But the first people who came to Ireland was uh, Viking. So were Viking are are their ancestors? Can I say that? Um, ancestors. Ancestors, ancestors, yes. And you're emphasizing an, ancestors. Ancestors. Mm -hmm. yeah. They, so they came from them. In Ireland? Yes. Mm -hmm. Guys, guess what? what? I have Viking blood in me. Yes? Oh. Uh, My granddad told me that, but I don't know if it's true. On your mother or father's side? I don't know. <laughs> I think my father's side. My granddad was like, you know what, Samantha? I'm like, what? Like, I, I don't know why I'm doing his accent. My granddad's British. He was British. Um, and he's saying, I did some research, and I went back through our family tree, and you have Viking blood. I was like, wow. yeah. Well, great. <laughs> <laughs> you were a warrior. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Uh, um, by the way, just feeds. Just feeds in you. Sorry? It just feeds in you. I, I mean, uh, just... It just fits in you. It's, it's a like, yeah. Yeah, emanating from your me. behavior. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I I speak like a Viking, right? Uh -huh. uh, okay. Um, uh, don't know. Uh, make it make this sound, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you're singing. I need, like I need the hat. I can't do it without the hat. Mm. I have to have the the horns. I can do like. Okay. Um. Okay. All right, let's talk about Vikings. So we're kind of already started, but um, we we read some myths, right? Um, just in general, what do you guys know about Vikings other than what I've read? What what do you think about this topic, just generally speaking? Like they're monsters, basically. They're like monsters. Mus yeah, muscular, destroying everything, like the ancestors of. Uh, I'm gonna type his name. I don't know else because they're both really good at destroying everywhere, and mm -hmm. they are really good sailors. They went to everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. So we've got their big manly monsters. They're really good sailors. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. What yeah. else do we know about Vikings? They brave people. They were brave. They brave. Yeah. See mm -hmm. if you. Mm -hmm. Um, have you guys ever read Maybe about like Asterix? Uh, Asterix. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He was talking, sorry. I didn't hear it. I think three people talked at once there for <laughs> <laughs> I think Osama said something. Osama? Yeah, I was talking about, uh, I think they're kind of still, no. still things. Uh, maybe a catch a woman and uh, live them, maybe. Like that. What did they do? Did you say something about women? Yeah, maybe they catch women and uh, maybe uh, use them or learn them, I guess. For their pleasure. Mm, okay. And maybe steal things like mm -hmm. uh, steal uh, children, like uh, the money. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so you think they were like stealing women and children? 
Yeah, and as soon as from villages. Uh, money, yes. Okay. Like for money. Mhm. Mm and um, Luis, what were you talking about? You asked if we'd heard of something. Uh, okay, sorry. Um, I guess it's about uh, the Asterix history. Do you know about this comic? Yes, Asterix, the cartoon. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, <laughs> I um, uh, when I was a child, I used to read a lot of comics. Until now, but when I was a child, uh, there was a history about Asterix against the, uh, the Vikings. And the Vikings were fearless. Like they were searching about fear. What's fear? They don't know about it. So it was a great history. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of topics I know about Vikings. And another one is like Teresa's Amon Amar. You know that. I band? was just gonna say, does anyone know about Viking metal or? Yeah. Just... <laughs> yeah, I love Amon Amar. <laughs> oh, guys, you you should uh, search for it. Look for, sorry. Um, yeah, I would put it on in class, but I don't want to scare everyone. You know the ones, the pursuit of the Vikings, where they're all just like windmilling through the entire video? It's hilarious. Um, yeah. Very sad. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay, let's look at another question. Um, uh, sorry, can I? Uh, sorry. Yeah, sure, Lilian. Can I ask what is Turisas? Oh, it's a band. It's a band. Uh, yeah, you, should, you should look for it and maybe take it on uh, you to listen and see them all because it's very funny. Yeah. It's like a, it's uh, the music is about to drink and to get in a war and a lot of blood and a lot of fun and uh, it's very funny. It's um here you I'll get it's kind of like black metal. Well, yeah. Here's the wiki page if you're curious. I think there's a list of bands too. Mm -hmm. However, I don't know if this is the style of, of music that most of us are into. But <laughs> I guess me and Louise have a common point here, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, uh, Liliana, what were you going to say? Did you have something to uh, add? No. No. Oh. no, maybe Quan, I think. Uh, I barely hear maybe Quang. Yeah, Quang, what do you, what can you tell us about Vikings, Quang? Or what is your idea of what Vikings yeah. were like? Uh, I think uh, Viking people uh, um, was uh, muscular and they uh, they look like a uh, a soldier, soldier and. Um, they can uh, fight better with uh, the others. I think they are the most um, <coughs> the most uh, strong soldier in the area. Mm -hmm. They can invade invade uh, um, invade the other countries. Mm -hmm. so, I, think so, I think that's a common perception that they were invading, right? Mm -hmm. Weren't they? And they and were. They, they have. They were long beard, beards. No beards. Mm -hmm. Big beards. Yeah. yeah. I think maybe we all have the same. Let's see what happens when you do a Google image search. Type who Viking. are they fighting with? <laughs> Let's see. Do you know yeah, who are they exactly, fighting with? Yeah, it's exactly what I was expecting. Like. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. um, what is the meaning of these corns? Horns, sorry, horns. The horns? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what the meaning is. How oh, could I, I heard I a, a history about it. Um, there was an ancient god of the forests and the seas. I, I can't remember the name of him, but uh, he was. It's a kind of uh, praying for him to 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 the battles and so on, to him protecting them. Oh, interesting. So they would use it for protection somehow. Oh no no, it's about. Uh, oh, you fell. Sorry. It's. Uh, I heard a history um, a few few time ago. It's because of a god who protected them. Mm. Oh, I see. 
It's a god Sorry, from I, the I left forest. for a second. I didn't hear it. <laughs> oh, it's a god from the seas and the forests. And it's about a huge tree with horns. I mm. can remember the name of this god, but maybe it's because of him. Mm. Yeah, Firkin found a good... Was that Firkin that... Pay, yeah, a good wiki article that's kind of explaining the background and the history of the horns. Uh, um, thanks. Interesting. interesting. It's not, it's actually, it's not a very long one, so that might be something for you guys to read through okay. if you want some reading. Um, okay, maybe to get you guys to use a few adverbs, um, how would you describe Vikings and their actions? Use at least three adjectives and three adverbs. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? Think of. We've talked about some of the different stuff that they did. So I want you to try to actually use some of these adverbs and put them in the right order um, to talk about what they did. So you could say they viciously attacked cities, and they. What else? Um, they hurriedly pillaged. Villages. <laughs> I don't know. So just try to like think of some adverbs and adjectives to describe what they were doing. Take a minute to think of something so you have a, you can prepare for a second, and then I'll pick on someone. Hmm. I need two adjectives. Okay. You, you, Firkin, are you ready? Yeah, my adverbs are ready. Okay. Okay, one day, the Viking, the, no. Bye. I'm going to use adjectives for people. One day, the gargantuan leader of Vikings sold uh, his commanders to attack a small town. Their frightening forces uh, destroyed the town savagely. <clears throat> this, uh, oh, wow, it's hard to find an adjective if you didn't think about it. I was going to write them down. I missed the first one. I've got savagely destroyed. What was the first one? Frightening, furious, gargantuan. Mm -hmm. And last one. Um, they left the town with an inhumane way of destruction. Okay. They inhumanely destroyed the town. Yeah. <laughs> A frighteningly, furiously, savagely, inhumanely. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else have a few to add to our list? Um, I think I do, teacher. Okay. Uh, Vikings are no lovely guys who is quickly who are quickly recognized by absolutely scary horns helmet. Perfect. Quickly recognized, absolutely scary horned helmet. Horned. And no lovely. Not lovely. Oh right. Um, no lovely guys. Not leather. No, not no. lovely guys. Yeah, no. yeah. You're okay. Not lovely guys. Um, maybe not the friendliest. Of, of oh, they guys. were friendless. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. I never met a Viking. I can't <laughs> tell you. Um, okay, very good. Um, anyone else ready to add? Okay. Liliana? Okay. Uh, Vikings uh, always invaded, invaded Nordic countries. And they suddenly, suddenly arrived to foreign lands to take, uh, I, I forgot the word, to take uh, possession of, of them. And uh, they were centrally uh, a, a strong warrior people. Did you say they were steadily? Uh, suddenly. They suddenly. Suddenly. 
-hmm. suddenly, suddenly arrived to foreign lands to take mm -hmm. a position of them, and they were sent certainly a strong uh, warrior people. Good, certainly good, a strong warrior people. Perfect. Um, can you pronounce this for me, Liliana? Foreign. 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 Ah, yeah, I know that's a weird one. It looks like rain, and when it's R E. I G N, it's pronounced rain, like the same as as rain. To R E I G N is like the queen's reign or to rule over something. Uh -huh. um, but when it's in the word foreign, it's pronounced like rin. Foreign. Foreign. Let me ask you this. Foreigner. Foreigner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Foreign. Like eh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, good. Okay, maybe uh, Quang. Do you have some adverbs to add to our our list? Quang, are you muted? We can't hear you. Click your microphone up here. Oh, wonderful, muscular, and fierce. Hello. Good. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got uh, some adjectives. Maybe from we my can point of view, yeah. From my point of view, Vikings are wonderful, muscular, and free, and they, they can fight. They could fight fierce, fierce, fiercely. Fiercely, good. Fiercely. Mhm. Mm yes. Good. So they would fight fiercely. They're wonderful. Yeah. Muscular. Um, you could say they're terrifyingly muscular. <laughs> or jacked, like me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Osama left, but Osama, are you there? Just came back. Osama. I just want him to have a chance to add some before we go. Maybe he's mute. Yeah, maybe. Osama, can you hear me? Okay. Um, I googled end of the Vikings as mm -hmm. we were asking how did they come to an end. It says for 300 years they were the most powerful people in Europe but by AD 1100 Viking power began to weaken so their homelands were divided into kingdoms. Um, their kingdoms were becoming independent with new leaders and it had a lot to do with religion, it looks like. As their power collapsed, their lifestyles changed, their beliefs started to disappear, families were migrating, warriors stopped going on raids, missionaries were converting the Vikings to Christianity. So it had a lot to do with religion. Um, and then it's saying, when Vikings were converted to Christianity, wooden churches were put up all over Scandinavia. Like this one. It sounds like Rome. Seems beautiful. Uh huh. I like it. It's really nice. I actually yeah. love that. Mm hmm It's very cool. It's like a log cabin type of <laughs> church. Um. Then again, this is just a WordPress blog. I don't know if this is the most accurate source, but um, makes sense. She mercilessly Googled the end of the book. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm just gonna leave you guys with my Facebook again. Does anyone have any questions for me? Um, no. After after reading the article, the sites that you gave us, maybe I will send you. A message. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Go for it. Okay. Cool. Well, that's it for me for today. Tomorrow we are looking at music competitions on television, like American Idol, mm -hmm. um, celebrities in rehab, and Paris because I haven't done a class on Paris yet. I'm what very time, excited about what it. time is the class about Paris? Paris is at this time tomorrow. Ah, okay. okay. And I'll bring some pictures for you guys from my oh, adventures. Yes. <laughs> cool. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good see day. See you soon. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye, everyone. Bye.